Hi everyone, this is Daisy. On Instagram you can find me as Planner Miss Daisy. So this YouTube video is going to be a DIY how to make dividers. And um, if you've seen my planner set up, then you've seen the dividers that I have. I have about seven dividers on the side, but then I also have some top tab ones to, to um, separate some of the sections that I need. And so I'm going to show you step by step how I make my dividers. To the same time, I actually already pre-cut the paper. So um, I will show you right now my, I'll show you my paper trimmer. I actually have preset. Um, I measured the personal size and I kind of have like some little marks that I made to know what, what size personal size is. And it kind of makes it, the process easier. So I don't have to kind of figure out the, the measurements again or I don't have to trace. I just kind of go with my marks that I have and I just cut the paper and I cut all the paper that I need. So um, I just put it together, so kind of like in a stack. Now, um, I actually, I, I usually get enough to make all the dividers, but sometimes I need extra. So um, this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but here I actually have double-sided tape. And I actually took two pieces together. I don't like to waste any of my Planner Society paper. So if I have to put two pieces together to get extra you know, um, dividers for my top tabs, then I will. Um, trust me, I do not waste paper. So here's one of them that I taped together, and then here's another one. I have to do it really close so you can see the tape. Other than that, from far you can't see it. Um, so see, it's double sided. You see that? Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside for right now, and these are gonna be my dividers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then, so that's a stack of seven for seven dividers. Then I have those two sheets that I showed you, that I, two pieces that I taped together, because I needed extra. And then here I have two more sheets that I will be using. So I will be using all of these papers and um, let's get started. So step one, obviously you have to cut the paper to the size that you need. I have um, personal size planner, so I cut my paper to personal size. And uh, if you have A5 or any other size, then you'll just have to figure out um, the measurements so you can trace one of the dividers that come in one of your planners and figure it out. I actually don't like to trace, I just cut the personal size because I just like to make my own little tabs that go on the side which I'll be showing you how to do right now. So let's get into it. Okay, so let me move. So since this is a DIY on how to do dividers, obviously some of the things you're going to need to make your dividers are a laminator, which you see right there, um, some paper, any design paper you have will work. Um, this paper that I'm using comes from the Planner Society. It's double-sided, so I don't have to worry about, you know, um, gluing two papers together back to back to make the to have designs on both sides. So these are really, really pretty. And um, so I'll be using these papers. Um, you're going to need some of the little tabs, some little tabs. Um, these you can, um, these actually came with my Planner Society kit, but I actually don't use the entire tab. Um, these I actually use for my top tabs, kind of like, like this. But I actually cut it, I trim it, and um, these become my top tabs, actually, just like that. My side tabs that act, are actually um, circles. I use this um, Fiskars Circle Punch. You can actually use um, a different kind of shape. It doesn't have to be a circle. I actually like the circle shape. And um, you can use a hexagon one or... You can use any other shape that you like, but I kind of I like this circle shape. I really do. This is my favorite one. So I'll be using that. So this is some leftover pieces from after cutting my personal size paper. So I'll be using this. Here's some more paper that I'll be using. Here's double-sided tape that you can use to attach the tabs to your paper. You don't have to use double-sided tape. You can actually use. Let's see one of these um, adhesive runners to attach your tabs or you can use glue stick or 
any other kind of um, adhesive that you have will work fine. You don't have to use these. I'm just mentioning the ones that I like to stick to. So, and then you're also going to need a hole puncher. So I have a single hole puncher, but then I also have a, I also have this hole puncher. And um, I don't know if you can see those little stickies there, but that is kind of like a guide to help me remember to stay within those little lines. Um, for my personal size, I have it preset already, but um, I kind of like staying between those lines because I know that if I pass that, then it'll kind of be off. And um, let's see. So the personal size, if you have this hole puncher, um, the size for it, is actually the one right here. So it's not the first one. You see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not the first one, it's the second setting. That would be personal size. So if you have this one, um, this one's just the six hole industrial from Amazon. And it's been working pretty good for me. I've had it for, I wanna say two years and a half. And um, I know that the instructions said that once in a while you have to put some sort of oil. I simply just put Vaseline like I just put Vaseline and it works fine so anyways let's move on so I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and show you step by step how we do this okay okay so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to cut out circles because I'm going to need these to my to make my tabs so I'm going to make get as many circles as I can out of this and seriously don't like to waste paper so I'm going to try to get as many circles as I can from these. So let's cut this. Let's cut here. That's another circle. Okay let's cut this one. And you know I I'm just cutting a bunch of circles here that I'm going to be using. And then I'll figure out the placement of the tabs once I cut all of these little, little circles. Okay, so there's that. And then I still have that ex this extra sheet, so I'm going to cut it too. Okay, so let's cut this. Let's cut this. And let's cut another circle from here. I I can use this for something else later, so I'll just move it to the side. Okay, so let's just move our little stuff that we don't need to the side. So as you can see here, I just have a bunch of little circles. Okay, here are the other ones. Okay, so all these little circles. And then these little tabs, um, I'm going to figure out which ones I'm going to use right now. And let's move it out of the way for right now since we don't need it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this divider and I'm going to find the design that kind of matches it, okay? And I'm going to stick only half of it on the very top, okay? Just like that. So let me get my double-sided tape and I just cut a little tiny little piece. Like I don't stick a lot. Just a tiny little piece and I stick it on the back part. Somewhere in the middle, so I just do somewhere in the middle. I don't like to use glue stick, I just do double sided tape. And I'm going to do a close up, okay? So I'm going to stick it as close to the corner and what I think is kind of halfway, maybe about here, okay? So that's my top one. And there you go, see? There's a first circle. So then I'm going to take my last one, what's going to be the last one, which is the same design, but I'm gonna put it behind. So I'm gonna put it behind it, and I'm going to put the, the other tab right here. So I'm gonna put the last tab, which would be the last divider. So there's my tape. Let's turn it around and put it right around the middle, okay? Now I'm going to pull it up here so you can see, okay? 
let's see, something closer. So I'm going to pull this behind and I'm going to stick it somewhere right about the middle. I have to kind of estimate, kind of like give it a guess as to what's half. And I mean, you can, you can have to double check. It's kind of like a touch and go thing. So you might have to move it a little. And, okay, so I just moved it a little. Kind of, it's kind of like a touch and go. It might not be perfect, but, so there's my first one. So now I'm gonna take the second one and put it behind, and that's a process I actually go through the whole way. So I take the second one and let's look at the design. Okay, so it's this blue one. Let's put this one here. So it's this blue one, and I'm going to put double-sided tape again. Okay. I might not, if I don't talk, that's because I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, so here's two. All right, let's put this behind. And let's kind of see. If I have to move it around, sorry. If I have to move it around a little bit after it, that's fine, I'll move it. But for right now, it's, it's kind of like a touch and go basis. And then I'm gonna take the last. So I'm going, I'm usually grabbing from the top and bottom. So top and bottom. And I do the first one. I, see, I don't know if you were able to see, but I did the first one and the last one. Then I'm going to do the second one. And I'm going to do the sixth one on top of this one. And I'm going to grab the design. Let's see. And here's my tape. Sorry about my nails. So my nails are kind of messed up. I was, um, I cleaned my nails yesterday, but I work with kindergarten and I'm constantly washing my hands and my nails get messed up. So my manicure does not last that long. It's kind of like, it lasts very short. So I'm gonna do about, sorry, I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna do about right here, okay? I think about that's about the height, so. So there, see? I have the last two and I have the first two. So I have four now. So now I'm going to take my third tab, my third divider, and let's see, let me grab it from here. So this is gonna be my third divider and I'm going to put it in the back of this. Then I'm going to take the, let's see the design. It doesn't really, it doesn't really have to match exactly the same tab. It could be any design, but you know, I kind of like to match it to the divider. So that's just me being a little angle. OCD sometimes, you know. Sometimes I obsess over some things and then some things I just kind of like, you know, just let it slide. So it depends on my mood. Today I'm just, you know, it's kind of like touch and go. So let's here, let's attach this one. I'm going to put the tape on the bottom so it's not visible, okay? So I'm going to stick it about right here. And then let's just lift it up a little. Okay, so there's three. There's my three tabs. And then here is my, I'm going to do the one that's gonna go on top of this one. So I'm gonna grab it from the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to find the little circle that goes with it. And put a little double-sided tape so we put this down. Okay, ooh, maybe I got too big of a piece. Oh, it's okay, it'll work. Okay, so I'm going to put this in front of this one. Okay. And we're going to stick it on top. Just like this. Kind of like right there. I think it's, maybe we can pull that up a little. Okay. So now I have six tabs and I'm going to put this in here. See, do you see how it's going to be 
kind of like too spread out, so I'm going to have to move some around, which is fine, I can do that. That's why I put double sided tape, it doesn't stick right away, so I can move things around if I need to. So let's, let's stick this one here, okay? And I can always move the tabs around. That's why I kind of like to move the last ones first, because it kind of helps to guide and if I have to move some stuff around, then I can move it. There's no biggie. Okay, so I don't stress that. This is actually really therapeutic. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so let's put this here. And let's move it here, actually. Somewhat halfway. So see, I can actually move this back, this down a little. I stuck it too much, too close. And I can move this one down a little. Okay. So I can move this one down a little. Let's move this a little. Okay. And then we can even move this one down a little so it's not so, like, all the way up there. Okay, and it's kind of like that. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of weird in the sense of like, sometimes I want it perfect, sometimes I don't, but right now, if it has too much of a gap, it's gonna bug me. So I'm going to move these a little. Okay, that's that one. Let's move this one down a little. Mm, kind of like there. Just so it's barely touching. Okay. So there it goes. So see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs. So these are, well, dividers. Seven dividers, and these are the, going to be the ones that are going to go on the side. So these are my side dividers. Then, sometimes I want some extra dividers, but it's kind of like a, it would, I wouldn't call it dividers, I would call it, like, um, you know, like sections. And so sometimes I need extra sections within the dividers. So what I do for those is, let me move these out of the way, but here you go, see? That's how it looks. Okay, so let's move these, since we don't need these right now. And let's work on our extra sections. So these, for these I won't be using the circle punches. I'll be using the little tabs that came with it, okay? So for these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide um, which ones I want to use this for. So maybe this is, this is going to be my year, my, my monthly. This is going to be my weekly. This is going to be my today. This will be my family. This is going to be my health. This will be my list. And actually finance. Hmm. See, I'm trying to see. Sometimes I just move stuff around it. I kind of like uh, swing it and guess. But okay, so this will be my my monthly, my weekly, my family, health, finances, list, and sticker section. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then since this is going to be my family, then I'm going to use two of these because one is going to be my one is going to be for my husband and one is going to be for my doggies. And then my finance section, I'm going to use one of these because I'm going to divide, separate my bills and my um, my my bills and my savings. Okay, so that's what I'll do. So these will be for my family right here sorry you probably couldn't see them but these two are going to be in my family section and these two are going to go in my finance section so let's move these out of the way okay so let's make these into my top tabs so i'm going to use these and i'm going to try to match okay so this one is this one and then 
then this one, let's see, there's a blue one. Okay, so this one's gonna go with this one. Then, let's see, this one, do I have one that matches this? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to match. It could be flowers or, I'll just do this one. Doesn't matter, okay? And then I have this one and I'll put this tab. This tab is gonna go with this one, okay? So let's do this. So now that I have this, I can move all this other stuff that I don't need out of the way so it doesn't get in my way. Okay, so I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to cut, okay? I don't necessarily have to cut, but I just like to have it a little bit shorter. I don't need that extra little section, so I'm just going to cut. Sorry, you weren't able to see, but do you see this little extra side? I'm just cutting it off. I don't need it to be that big. Okay, so here is the little top tab. Then I'm going to cut this one off, so let me just flip it. And then I'm going to turn it and cut. Here's the other one that's going to go with these two. And let me cut this one. This one's going to go with this one. Okay. And that'll go with this. Okay. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. And oops. My little. They're sticky because they have double-sided tape. But it's, as you can see, it's easy to remove. Okay, so let's put this in here. And let's cut this extra part off. Okay, there it goes. So all these little pieces, sorry. Let's move them out of the way. I won't need my scissors anymore, by the way. These scissors? Um, these are the egg tool scissors, egg tools, and they're precision scissors. Do you see the point on them? They're like awesome, seriously, like awesome. If they're perfect for cutting dividers, you know the little edges and cutting around the little corners and the circles, they're fantastic for that, okay? So, let's move this out of the way and now we're going to attach. We're going to use double-sided tape again and we're going to attach the top tab. Put some double sided tape and I'm going to cut, paste it right, actually stick it right here. Okay, so it's going to go right here. Kind of like halfway, also, I have to kind of figure out what's halfway. Maybe there. Okay, so there it goes. That'll be one. Then let's get double sided tape. Here and we're going to put this right here. Um, I think I'm going to make this one for my hubby, and I'm going to move because his favorite color is blue. So maybe we'll do this one for hubby, and the flower ones for for my doggies. <laughs> if he looks at my planner and he looks at me and he realizes that I pick little flowers for him, he's <laughs> it's going to be funny. He's going to, he's going to say like. You had blue, why don't you just go with blue if you know blue is my favorite color, right? So, let's give them blue. Okay, so these are my two top tabs, see? Um, this one's a little bit higher than the other one, so let's kind of bring it down a little. Okay. Now I put it too low. See, you kind of have to play with it and figure out what works for you. But I think that's a good enough height, okay? Okay, there it goes. So these are, I was just adjusting it. Okay, so this is gonna be for my husband. This one's going to be for my doggies. 
and then let's move this out of the way, put them on the side, and let's do these two. Okay, this is going to be for my bills. Same thing as I did the other ones. So I'm gonna stick this one on the top part. And then I'm going to do this one over here. This one's going to be for my savings section. Okay, so here it goes. Um, in my current planner setup, I actually have a work section, but because I'm about to be on vacation soon, I'm not going to be really planning for work, so I don't really need a work section. So that's why I decided to not do a work section for this one. Okay, so this is just gonna be let's stick. Let's see. So let's put it behind each other and see how how it looks. Okay, so I think it's kind of crooked. You see that? Okay. Okay, so now I have my top tabs. See, there they are. And I also have my dividers. Okay, so I don't want these two to stick, so let me just move these out of the way and put them separate. I'm just going to turn them around. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn them around so that the tape, they don't keep sticking to the table. So let's move this out of the way. And now I have my dividers and I'm going to get my planner cake label and attach them to it before I laminate, okay? Okay, so here are all the labels that I have from planner cake. I have stickers today to do, let's see. I have my monthly ones, weekly, I have family, health, fitness, finance, work, list, miscellaneous, hubby, oh by the way these, um, let's see, weekly, family, so family was a custom order, My the hubby one was a custom, the doggies one was also a custom one, um, let's see, finance, I know there was another one. I think fitness was also a custom one. I know that I um I ordered some custom made ones because I really needed them in my um, planner. I think also savings was one of those custom ones. It was um I know now she has them listed, so you guys can find them there now. But um when I ordered when I ordered bills and savings and then the family and hubby and doggies and fitness they weren't this in her shop yet but um i sent her a message and i requested a custom order and she was just awesome and you know she just like um there's an option to when you order these labels there's actually a, an option if you want some custom ones and so that's what i went with and so now i have labels for everything that i need so let's do let's start sticking these so like i said this is going to be my monthly so let's put monthly here. Okay, and I'm gonna turn these around so you can see. So monthly will go right here. Okay. Now if it sticks a little, it doesn't matter because um once it laminates and now I just cut around. So there's my monthly. Oops, sorry. Okay, so there's my monthly there. And I'm going to do weekly next. And so here's my weekly. And I like to just hold them just like this. That way you can see the placement. And that one label doesn't cover, cover, sorry. That way I can see that one label doesn't cover the other label. So the next one's going to be um, monthly, weekly. I believe I said family. So let's see. Where's my family? Somewhere here. 
Okay, so here's family. So family's next. Family, I mean, yeah, it might not be straight. Ugh, this one didn't go straight. Let's see if I can take it off. Okay. I mean, I know there's, yeah, like, I'm not trying to be so, like, particular, but I don't want it to be too crooked either, because then once I laminate, then I won't be able to fix it, <laughs> and I'll just be stuck with the crooked label. So there's family, then I said it was, um, next one was going to be health. So there's health, and then we're going to do what did I say next? Finance. So let's do finance. Sorry, I have my table all over the place right now. So finance is next. Okay, there's finance, and then I have see this little circle. I can actually move it a little. Now that I put the label, I can kind of see if it needs to move a little. So there's finance. And then I said I was going, going to do lists because this is where I put my shopping list and kind of like cleaning list, wish list, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of, let's see, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Let's do right here. It should be somewhere in the middle. Okay, this and the last one's going to be stickers. Okay, because I have a lot of stickers. I won't do miscellaneous this time. I will do, let's see, um, stickers. Let's do stickers because I have a lot of stickers in the back of my planner. So I might as well have a little section for it, right? And stick here. This one's a long one, which I don't mind. I'm trying to do it with one hand, and it's kind of tricky. Okay, this one's longer. This one's a long word, but you know what? It doesn't bug me. It really doesn't. I'll just, when I laminate, I'll just cut around a little, trim it off. But, you see that? Maybe I can move my finance over a little. It's too close to that one. That way there would be such a big gap. Okay, there it goes. So now I have seven tabs, seven dividers. Do you see that? Monthly, weekly, monthly, weekly, family, health, finance, list, stickers. And like I said, these tabs that I have over here, these are gonna be part of, these two are going to be part of my family. So I'm going, to put, I'm going to put the labels right now, and then the other two are going to be part of my finance. So let me move these dividers to the side for right now. And let me get these two. We said that this one is going to be for my hubby. So let me find the hubby one. Let's see, I'm going to need this one, which is a savings. I'm going to need the bills. So let's move this to the side. So here's doggies. And here's Tubby. Okay, so these are the ones I'm going to need for right now. So we said this one is going to be for my hubby, so I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And I'll show you right now. Okay, so here's Hubby. You see that? It's little papers. And then this one is going to be for my doggies. And let's find the doggies put this here okay so now I have these two which are going to be they are going to go behind my family tab okay. so 
So these are the two are done. Now I'm going to grab this one, which is going to be my bills. Let's put bills right here on this tab. And let me turn it around so it doesn't stick to the table. And this is going to be my savings. Top tab. And let's put this here. Okay. So now I have one for bills and I have one for savings. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. Now I'm going to get my laminating sheets and I'm going to laminate. Put all of these and you'll see. Um, I actually laminate them first and I cut them. Then I punch them and re-laminate so that it seals the hole. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to laminate these. These are my laminating sheets. I got these from Target. These are the Scotch brand. So we're going to stick our dividers in there now. Okay. And we're going to laminate. So I'm going to put this in here. I will leave a little space. And then I put the next one um, upside down. Okay. That's just how I do it. And if it's too close, then I kind of just do a sideways, which is fine. It also works. Okay. If I see that it doesn't fit one way, then I just turn it around the other way. And let's see, let's move this out of the way. Okay, I wanted to go around this much. Okay, so there's one. And then let's do the other sheet. I just like to have all the other all the sheets already inserted, and then I just grab one by one and just stick them in the laminator. But I just stick them all at once in this sheet to save time because then I'm doing one by one and then sticking in the laminator and I want to save time. Okay, so let's do this one here. Okay, just gotta figure out which way I want to do it. Okay, about this much. So there's those two. Here's another one. And you know, I'm not worried about the laminating the using the capacity of you know squeezing in extra things that just to use all of the sheet. Um, it's okay if I have you know some leftover one. I don't mind that extra one. Okay, um, let's see, let's do this one. I'm going to stick this one here. Okay, stick this one here. This one I will turn it this way. This one I might be able to squeeze three in there. I might squeeze three in here. Let's stick this one here. Let's move this one down a little. I don't want it too close so I can cut around. Okay. And then let's stick this one here. So this one we're going to get the most out of. Okay. And then this one's just going to have to so let's stick this one here. And let's stick this one here. can cut it okay so now I have all of these and I'm going to stick them in my laminator okay I'm just getting it ready let's see 
and I'm going to cut them right now. Okay, so now they're Okay, so now I laminated all of them. I didn't want to show you the lamination part. I mean, that was kind of boring, right? So I laminated, laminated, um, so now they're laminated and I'm going to cut them, okay? So let's, let's cut through this. Okay, um, I do use my precision scissors, but I use it when I get to the, the, the tab. So for right now, I can just use the regular scissors and I have to try to stay there's a little line there. When you laminate, there's like a little section. You don't want to cut right um, below that line because then um, it might separate your lamination. So I actually stick to a little bit above. Okay. So let's cut this. I cut this, this is where I use the precision scissors for. Okay, so I will show you how to cut one by one because maybe I'll just show you one, how I cut one. So I just cut on the line again and I just cut through here. So I just cut to that point and then I turn it and I cut, see, I try to stay within that line. I don't want to pass it because I don't want my because I don't want I don't want my um divider to separate so now this little part is kind of tricky so I just kind of go carefully around. See? And then I just cut to that line where I cut and I pull a little piece off and then I'll do the other side. And I cut, let's see, around. And just cut this much. Okay. So there goes my, my little tab. And it's, you know, it's not perfect, perfect, but these precision scissors are pretty awesome for this. I mean, if I were to do it with these scissors, it wouldn't come out as nice. But with these scissors, like if you get as close as you can. And you don't want to cut too much either because it might separate. So I'm going to cut the rest of them and then I'll show you once I have them cut how I relaminate. Okay. Okay, so I laminated them already, all of them. You see? They're shiny, you can see them. So they're all laminated and here are my extra sections. They're laminated as well. So now I'm going to punch the holes in them, okay? And I'm going to show you how I use. So, like I showed you, um, I have this little alignment to kind of help me, to kind of help me, you know, stay within, like the, like the size. This is my measurement for the personal size. So I'm going to cut all the holes on them and stay within that range, okay? So there's this hole, and I'm just going to cut through them really fast, okay? Let me just cut them. Let me cut these two, and then I'll, you see? Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. And then I'll show you right now when I relaminate them. So now I've punched holes in This one came out a little folded, but you know what? Once I really laminate, it'll kind of straighten out, so I'm not really worried about it. So here are all my dividers, and they all have the holes in them. You see? Let's put them in order. Then here's my weekly, here's my monthly, and then here are the behind my family. That's going to be, I'm going to have my hubby. Okay. And I'm going to have my doggy section. Okay, so it'll look kind of like this. Okay, if it's... Right now they're all kind of like... I don't have them all aligned right now, so I'm just putting it in the order that I'm going to have them. So here... Here, 
I kind of made an oopsie. I punched too many. I um I wasn't careful. I was kind of like looking at TV, so <laughs> I kind of got distracted. So I had to like repunch. But you know what? This is kind of like one of those extra sections. So it's not one of my main dividers. So I'm not really worried about it. So let's see. It's gonna go into finance. It's gonna be bills, and then it's gonna be savings. Just in this order. So now I'm gonna relaminate to make sure that they last. Okay, that it seals. And you'll see it come out right now. I always do this because I wanted to just seal the lamination properly. And I want the little holes in the that I punched to kind of close. So I'm going to laminate all of them all over again. But this time the holes are already punched, so I don't have to worry about punching them anymore because they're already there. Okay? So there's the first one. And then let's do another one. I'm just gonna do I'm just going to do two to show you. And then I'm just going to quickly run through the rest of them and show you once they're all done. And then I'm going to put them in the little binder, one of the planners that I have that's designated just for dividers. That's where I store my dividers that I make. And then I just take them out and use whichever ones I'm going to select for the month. Okay, so just wait for it. So see, I'm just going to do these two to show you. I'm going to laminate all of them and then I'll turn you back on once I have them all ready to put in my little binder. So here's my paper cutter and I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see. You see those little marks right here that I have on the side and then I have another one on the side over here. Let me see. So I have a black one for something. I can't remember what it's for. But I have a little red one over here and that is my personal slice. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so now they're all laminated, and since I'm not going to put them in my planner for the moment, I'm going to put them in my final bag, Safiano, which is where I'm storing the dividers that I'm making. So I can give you like a little walkthrough of it. Here is my um, my planner setup. I did mention that I have this dashboard, and she's holding a pina colada, and um, I wanted to use this one for summertime. So I'm just storing it in here. So any dashboards that I get, I'm going to store in here with my dividers. So these are my Planner Society papers for, um, I believe this one was the March one. So here I did use the little tabs that came with it. And here I kind of made my own little sticker labels. I didn't have the Planner Kit labels yet. So I kind of did my own. And um, I didn't do the extra sections here because I only had enough for this one. Um, but now I have enough paper to do more sections. So um, I did order some of the extra paper. So now I'm going to have enough to make the extra sections here. So here are the notes. And then here are from Planner Society papers as well. Planner Society kit. So I have monthly, weekly. And then these, I used um, a hexagon one, but I cut it in half and I just attached half of it. So here is another set of dividers. Here's another one. Health, finances, list, and then miscellaneous. And at the back of it, I'm going to just put a little sticky note, like a little post-it note, little mini ones, and I'm just going to stick it somewhere in the middle, over here. Okay, so I'm just going to put them in the back here and store them, and that's it. And I'll just use them when I need them. Um, so I'll just put them in here and store them. And then when I want to use them, then I can just grab them from here. So I'm just going to put them in backwards, okay? They're already in order, so yeah, this is my funny one that I messed up. So let's just put them in there. And, okay, so let's put this in here. So this is kind of like my divider planner, where I store my planner dividers. And that's it, so I can close it. And you see that little sticky, now it sticks out. And that's where I'm storing my dividers, right in here. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you to make your own dividers. Thank you for watching, and um, let me know what else you want to see. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.